It has been a great journey since I've given my life to Jesus Christ. Though you can be calling me a sinner. Yes, I'm still a sinner. But I've genuinely given my life to Jesus Christ because I realize that this Christian journey is personal connection with Almighty God. You just have to know who you're serving and let others say that you're a sinner. You want to know what you're saying. Let me just say to you. Last night, uh, I posted that you are broke just because you are broke, not just because that you don't have money. You are broke just because that lack of idea. And one is, uh, I don't remember her name. He said I should share, uh, shed more light about what I just say. No matter how, where you are or your current situation you have to first genuinely give your life to jesus christ once you give your life to jesus christ and ask for divine ideas it might be so crazy it might be uh, divine ideas always look so crazy at the first but as time went by you would develop your skill and you perfect it you just have to once you give your life to jesus christ you just have to let it go. Be like a kid. Because the kingdom of God is just like a children. Because a mentally a mature man can enter the kingdom of God though. Because if you commit sin, let everybody know you commit sin. If you like breast, let them know in the kingdom that you like breast. If you are smoking, let them know. If you are a thief, let them know. Little by little, you be uh, dropping such art. It is only God that can save. Ma, woman can just preach. It is only God that can save. That is that analogy. Once you genuinely give your life to Jesus Christ, live as best as possible that you can live. Don't create wala for anybody. Don't create wala for yourself. Do your own shit. Eh, that is it. And ask for divine ideas. But note that divine ideas always come stupidly. You might be, ah, what, what, what the fuck do I know? But as time went by, everything will unfold. Now they are making jest of Strilly Gospel as they have made jest of our daddy bishop, Oyedeko, when he was preaching prosperity that time because as at that time prosperity message they always avoid prosperity message but he has set the pace and his frontliner who started preaching about prosperity and see what he has been preaching about you can see that nobi wasa is more than blessed a uh, big shout out to babagba uh, <laughs> that is it and this is what the the street guys, street guys, baby.